Somebody. The guy went. That one's still there, isn't it? Look at it. That's, that's <laughs> really rather quite persistent. And uh, to remind the viewer, who already, you already know this very well, that's not the way Mother Nature works. So if you're even to, to assume that the humidity level was sufficient, you know, it, there's gradualities. There's no graduality. If it were just moving from a, a, a higher humidity level to a lower, you'd have graduality. There's no demarcation line like that in nature at humidity variance levels. So that's 100% artificial. Totally artificial. And to show you what's actually happened to the rest of the trail, see it on. It's really pumping up now. In there. And it's cut off on this. Still spewing it out. A few minutes later, we come back to my house. And what do we have? Yeah, yes, we do. Yes, we do. Somebody with them is not doing anything. How are the others doing? <laughs> yeah, you tell me. Yeah, boom. How those ones doing? Are they doing pretty good? Doing pretty well, aren't they? Look at that, man. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. Ugh, it's huge, man. Now that really was dense, wasn't it? And then what happened to the one that went through? Mm, check it. I mean, that's probably a half a mile wide right there. Breathe deep, my children. Breathe deep. Breathe deep. There's one of our Delta friends. There are the two. They're totally the exact same altitude. One's not doing anything substantive at this time. The other one's laying down a thinner dilution. Yeah, see, as I said, the sheer volume of flight defies normal commercial numbers. Here. Ugh. It really is gross, isn't it? It's just there's an older one right there. So you know they're doing it up. Behind them's another jet. I mean it could sink it in. There it is too. Hydroscopic material that's pulled water vapor out. There's someone who's not to his right, to his left. It's now 407. Look at it, it's unbelievable. Look how much it's all spread out. Just it doesn't take long at all, does it? It's all, that's all that stuff. They just made all of that. We watched them make it. You know, what do you want? It's normal cirrus cloud form. No, it's not. The humidity levels are less than half the requirement. And once again, this is an excellent example that shows you how it's go, it all goes in the exact same level. Precisely. That spreading trail is directly exactly at the same altitude as that larger muck that has grown and was placed at that precise altitude. And isn't that amazing? <laughs> so the fuselage track, the actual you know chem trail, and its spreading mass, they're all visible, all joining into the previous one just as that stuff below is doing and that stuff over there and that stuff over there and all that hazy crud it's all them baby another one is that guy is doing all right we used to have a lot of problems until the commandant of the marine corps stepped in and 
chilled this stuff, which used to go on morning, noon, afternoon, evening, and night by teams of them. Oh my god, and there's another one. Mm. Just see? The sheer volume tells you that this is not normal commercial traffic. They've been hired. Yet another ESA Air Force, probably. We'll see who it is, I'm not sure. It's pretty nice now, not necessarily. It doesn't look like he's coming in for a landing now. Yeah, that's just like a surveillance plane. Flies around here a lot. Side by side. I'd like to hear the FAA's explanation for that. Yep, yeah, that guy's spewing the stuff out that his companion isn't. <laughs> How's that possible, right? If it's it takes super saturation to develop as long uh, perpetual persistent contrails they're right next to each other they're directly next to each other there you know what I mean they are well within it just a couple hundred yards See who that is. Yeah, probably. Just I only have markings. Okay, so, um, yep. Those two are clearly together. One's spewing, the other one's just tagging along. I guess he has less on board, so he has to release later. That's what it is. They're both white underbelly. Maybe we can, yeah. Right, he's right there. What's he gonna do? Climb on the back of the other one? Interesting, now he's kind of, now there he is. Look at that, he was having a good time, you can count on that. That's right. So fascinating, we even we missed these being made out here. <laughs> Tons of it today. Heavy. Well, here comes another one. Right, you can see by the shadow. Exactly at that level. Let's see if we can figure out who this guy is. <laughs> There's no question what he's doing. There's my friend again. It's a very dense one. Humidity levels. <laughs> I'm on a level line, of course. And then some do, some don't. Seven? Oh yeah. There's another one. Oh, how did Tiffany get out? Tiffany, you're not supposed to get out now. Well, that's how she got out. <laughs> By my running out the door. Look at all the other stuff behind it. Look at that. Just tons of it today. They're not doing the, all the crisscrossing there. Again, they're trying to be clever about it all. Oh, those are from God. We saw them. We filmed each one. <laughs> God darn it, you know, I've taken up time from my life for this. That is one heavy dose. And here I am, happily breathing it in like a chump. <laughs> There's somebody right behind it. 
right next to it. So I, go, oh, I don't see anything, man. Oh, I don't know what's causing that. Yeah, right. Really doing it up to the five twenty. Yeah. Is that persistent or what? That's definitely one, one right there. See that all that? It all came from there. Now here's here's the jet at the same altitude. It's like nothing. Typical. Pro five. Twenty-four. Just here's one right there. Just whenever. Look at that. Yeah, they're pouring it on today, no doubt. They're pouring it on. But it's trying to be clever about it. You know, just, just normal flights. Over flights. Oh, that's wonderful. You know it's loaded when it does that. Oh, there's an Air Force one right there. Uh, yeah. Air Force Recon style. Beechcraft King, I think is the type. <laughs> Properly dissipating. Mm. Mm. Let's see what they do. Well, there's one right there that just went by. Yeah, I see the two of them. So they're still sending them. Sixty seconds later, there's another one just turned it on. I predicted it to myself uh, that they were going to do it at night. Yeah, there's one there too. All right. Hello, Tiffy. There's one that just got put down. There's another one right there. I'm going to get my night vision out. Again, the sheer volume and numbers at the same time show you that this is not normal commercial. How come they always run a whole bunch um, and there happen to be you know these trails when there's whole bunches of them flying and then on the days when there's they're only flying you know one every 15 minutes which is normal they're not they're no temperature relative humidity that's in meters that's centigrade to the relevant altitude zone and there oops sorry and let's see what we got mm hmm well I, you know I'll be once again at the altitudes involved, it's 25 to 27 percent. That's ha at minus 67. So that's f that's well less than half. That's like it's a little over a third of the actual humidity requirement, the temperature, and altitudes. All right, I guess it's around nine o'clock or so. All right, well here at 8:30 on the 21st, uh, just showing that the it's a natural cloud cover, and I've been out here for a while. Uh, and through these gaps, which are the sky, cover, there are no further uh, chemtrails being made, and haven't been for some time. So I'm going to check the forecast in a minute. Oh, and any rain. Okay, it's the 22nd of February. Still should be, you know, in the in the dead of winter. It's summer, summertime out here. Wearing a t-shirt. I'm in the sun. It's almost too hot for the t-shirt. <sighs> we look up. What do we see? It's that weird, weird, hazy crap everywhere. Some clarity, but clearly these people have been at work. At any rate. <laughs> Knuckles. There you can see that damnable haze in front of the sun, and yes, there's one right there. Yeah, it's completely oblique to the lines of the other stuff moving in. Yeah, that totally down. Right there. Pretty, pretty amazing clouds, really. 
Oh, I have good grief. That is just weird. It's totally their stuff. Mmm, right. look what we got. Right, so this is show the difference in the normal clouds there. It's a normal cloud, normal clouds. But what's above it, beyond it, that stuff. See all that hate, that white crap? That super thin stuff, it's all above it. And, and if you look over at the sun here, you see it's it permeates the atmosphere. All that white stuff, that's the haze they make. And I think that they're doing it over the Midwest, if not, you know, further west. And it's just more and more. And they do it here, and so it never goes away. It just keeps... It's too too common, see? If it were just once every month or, you know, a couple times a month, it'd be one thing. When it's virtually every day, then you know it's another thing. Oh, yeah, and right at that altitude. He doesn't have a coming trail yet, but it's our... One of our favorite big boys. Always flying on that line. You know who that is. Yeah. Above all. Follow that bell immediately by this guy. Normal? Yeah, abnormal. Yeah, that's the stuff. It looks like it's traveled a pretty long way. And then the skies are unbelievably calm too. It's like it looks like it's moving at you know, one mile an hour. Weird. Yeah, no chemtrails directly overhead, but you know what? familiar to me. So, I think they did that. They're going further west. That's what I think. And too many people, they're talking about this stuff. It's just, it just gets too obvious. No matter how cow-like the media or weather folk, they can't help their cowardice and their normalcy worship. It's all they've ever known. It's all they think exists. Years later, this their stuff continues, this infernal crap stream across the sky from the west, although at just above that level, planes are flying and leaving normal contrails. But some have gone by that didn't. As it is, they seem to be laying it out and further, much coming from much further west, and you know, quite low, vo normal commercial volume. About it. Let's check the soundings. Well, from 20,000 feet, 22,000, it's around 50% humidity. It's okay, soundings way too low for, for contrails, but there they are. They come back and they're feeding it. Hold on, I'm just about out of tape on this, so, but there they are. There's three of them right there. Some older ones. They're feeding this crap as it comes in. And look at the frequency. It's much too high for commercial type. Sounds like that altitude, 20%. One third of the level required for uh, vapor trail contrails to be persistent like that. So it must be chemical. And it's February 17th and I have been out to do some in a very light uh, solution. Do you find the evidence? Oh, it's everywhere. There's his right there. See that? Zoom. There's one. There's another one that went across. Okay. That's a continuation. Oh, that guy just did something. University of Wyoming atmospheric soundings. Let's see what the humidity level is because I have a feeling that once again it's way, way too low for persistent contrails. Ugh, there it is. That's their stuff. And what we have over here, the temperatures in those ranges, it's you know, pretty damn cold in Celsius. And then next to it, what do we have? We've got soup, you know, very low humidity. A little while later, you can see they've successfully covered much of Washington, D.C. 
But here's a little evidence of their handiwork right there. <laughs> right through there. That's the stuff. In the north, you'll see, see how it's clear. I'll direct a trace of it right there. That's just on off. Humidity levels are yeah. 35, 40% too low. I'm actually headed into DC right now. Cloud covers everything. Set the way out that way toward the west and uh, the northeast. That's all clear, but the cloud they made is definitely. Well, today's the 19th of 